When an elderly relative moved in with the young homeowners and their toddler, they wanted a kitchen that could accommodate all ages. Although the original 1960s kitchen was spacious, the cabinets were cramped in a small space and the layout was impractical. The wall between the kitchen and family room was removed and the laundry room brought into the kitchen. The peninsula was removed to rearrange appliances for a more functional layout. The old cabinets and the soffits above them were removed to make way for new gray-stained shaker-style cabinets that extended all the way to the ceiling. The refrigerator was moved slightly down the wall to make room for the addition of tall pantry cabinets on either side. Rollout shelves in the pantry provides easy access to items stored there. A 10-foot long island now occupies the center of the room with cabinets for extra storage and a long overhang that creates table seating for five. The homeowners chose a triangular ceramic tile backsplash to add a more contemporary vibe to the room. The family loves the new layout and now spends most of their time there. The clients recently purchased this great home in a wonderful subdivision. The kitchen was dated with older appliances, countertops and fixtures and was in desperate need of a fresh facelift to complement the new owner's style. The old tile countertops were removed along with the dated tile backsplash and new quartz Calcutta Vicenza tops were installed along with a full quartz solid surface backsplash throughout the kitchen. The cabinetry was updated with a new custom vent hood, an updated island with new storage and paneling, and new hardware that made the kitchen really stand out. A fresh coat of paint was applied on all of the cabinetry, walls, ceiling, and molding, and new appliances installed, including Gen Air double ovens, gas cooktop, and dishwasher. The homeowner wanted a larger sink, but also wanted to keep it sleek and simple so they chose a deep stainless steel square sink and polished nickel faucet. New light fixtures and under-counter lights give the kitchen the light airy feel that the owners desired. This simple and clean look was exactly what the owners envisioned and they are sure to enjoy their space for many years to come. This dark, dated galley kitchen had some interesting, but not necessarily desirable features. The owners wanted an open concept family room and kitchen to maintain communication between friends and family. The existing fireplace and surrounding walls were removed to open up the kitchen to the family room. A peninsula cabinet was added to create a central hub connecting the family and dining rooms to the kitchen. The existing shaker-style cabinets were refinished and topped with new quartz countertops. The homeowner's tall glass front furniture piece was incorporated into the new design as a pantry. The existing cooktop was reused and a new stainless steel refrigerator, under-counter single oven and beverage fridge were installed, while hardwood floors were extended into the kitchen and breakfast area. The new space lets those working in the kitchen stay connected to those in the living and dining areas and provides a large open space for friends to gather on game days. To open up this closed-in kitchen, the walls to the morning room and dining room were removed, creating a large open space for entertaining. The existing pantry and front coat closet were removed to make room for new pantry cabinets. Shaker-style cabinets with Venetian gold granite countertops were installed. A wooden cabinet box around the hood was added to accentuate the new cabinet design. A pot filler valve and beautiful backsplash with accent were added over the new stainless steel range. The microwave was built into the island base cabinet for ease of access. An orbital chandelier and clear globe pendant lights were installed. The new kitchen blends the owner's contemporary and traditional design aesthetics and provides a more comfortable open space for everyone to gather.
The client asked for a kitchen that is sophisticated, inviting, and functional. To make that happen, painted alabaster white perimeter cabinets that go to the ceiling were installed and contrast nicely with the stained nutmeg finish on the island cabinetry. Ganache granite countertops pull the two cabinet colors together into a seamless design. Built-ins house family keepsakes, glass collectibles, a wall-mounted television, and a charging station. Specialty accent lighting was installed in the glass front cabinetry above the built-ins. Seated glass pendants accentuate the island and complement the additional general lighting provided with recessed fixtures and LED under cabinet lighting. In the adjoining keeping room, the dated pickled oak flooring and stair treads were refinished and stained to blend with the newer existing hardwoods. The railings and balusters were replaced with twist and basket wrought iron balusters, oak handrails, and newel posts. The new design expresses the client's taste and personality and is now an impressive area for cooking, relaxation, and family gatherings. With dated materials and a disjointed layout, this 80s kitchen was past due for an update. The built-in wall oven was removed and the refrigerator shifted closer to the stairs, eliminating the unused desk area and visually opening up the space. The refrigerator was cased on the top and sides to impart a more finished look. The custom beaded inset cabinets in a painted maple were installed and topped with a honed Bianco Venetino Carrera marble. Rustic cedar open shelves with wrought iron brackets were placed on one wall to add contrast with color and texture. A classic handmade white ceramic subway tile was used for the backsplash. The linoleum flooring was replaced with pre-finished hardwood floors. Recessed can lighting was added throughout as well as under cabinet task lighting and decorative pendant fixtures. The end result is a timeless, updated space with better flow that reflects the owner's polished yet eclectic personal style. This 1990s kitchen and adjoining den were nice, but dated, and the homeowners wanted a new space to enjoy with their two boys and for entertaining. The synthetic stone columns on the island were replaced with columns wrapped in plywood panels that match the cabinet doors. A transom window between the columns creates a sense of separation while maintaining a feel of complete openness. The island includes a countertop overhang for the boys to have room to sit and eat or study. The 36-inch original cabinets were swapped out for 42-inch Welburn and Dura Supreme units and Cambria quartz countertops. New appliances, including a 48-inch Wolf Range and a Sub-Zero double-door refrigerator, were installed. An appliance garage was added to keep items out of the way, but readily available when needed. The kitchen's bay window was replaced with new five-foot windows and a banquette was installed in the eating area to maximize the use of the space. A fresh coat of paint throughout ties the entire main level together. The family now enjoys time spent in their new kitchen and feel like they've moved into another home. The owner and his former wife had purchased this home 15 years ago, and although they talked about remodeling, they could never agree on what they wanted. After their divorce, the owner decided it was time to do the kitchen remodel that he'd always envisioned. The floral tiles and white cabinets, countertops, and appliances were eliminated in favor of a more contemporary and masculine design. European-style frameless cabinets finished in a walnut stain were installed. White quartz countertops were added, and the raised bar was finished with a waterfall edge. A mosaic backsplash of tile, glass, and stone was added along one wall, creating a focal point with the eye-catching cooktop. 
New Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances were chosen, including a 24-inch wide multi-zone wine storage column. The wall between the kitchen and sunroom was removed, creating space for seating areas on both sides. Not long after the project was completed, the owner remarried. Their blended family, which includes four teenagers and young adults, now has plenty of room to hang out with family and friends in their new kitchen. This homeowner wanted his kitchen to take advantage of the large windows and stunning views by being designed with a more open and airy feel. The design called for the pantry that was located around a corner in a hallway to be moved into a scullery with cabinetry and a coffee bar. This location made it much more accessible and allowed for needed storage for entertaining. The island was reconfigured to take advantage of prep areas and to provide a large space for food to be served during parties. Dual Viking dishwashers are housed in the island along with the sink and a separate prep sink near the refrigerators. The corner hood and cooktop were relocated to provide a statement piece at the center of the kitchen and are flanked by towers at each side. A decorative marble mosaic backsplash highlights this area and reflects the natural light from the windows while allowing the custom hood to be the focal piece. A quartzite called white macubus was used throughout for the countertops with a mitered stacked edge on the island. The Eden area's tray ceiling was softened by the use of nickel gap tongue and groove and painted white to draw the light into the space. The result of this kitchen remodel is a look that reflects the owner's personality and the function required to make entertaining a breeze. This 1940s home sat above a large unfinished basement and the owners wanted to transform it into a play area for their two young daughters as well as a comfortable space for hosting out-of-town guests. A master suite was designed with its own exterior door for added guest privacy. The master bath includes a tub and shower combination and a repurposed vanity and countertop that had been removed after an earlier master bath remodel. Vintage octagon tile was used on the floor. A kitchenette was created with tile floors, full-size refrigerator, undermount stainless steel sink, standalone range, and microwave. Absolute black honed granite countertops were installed in the kitchenette as well as in the new laundry room, which includes extra cabinet storage. A separate powder room with color and delta fixtures was created. The new media game room is pre-wired for surround sound and features a wall-mounted TV and a refurbished vintage pool table. At the bottom of the stairs is the girls' new play area. The basement is now a fully functional, comfortable space that the homeowners and their guests can enjoy. This recently retired professor and his wife wanted to transform their unfinished basement into the ultimate craft and entertainment oasis for spending time with grandchildren and enjoying his movie and book collections. This unfinished space was damp and cold throughout most of the year, so the area had to be properly sealed and insulated to prevent any future issues in the space. Recess, track, spotlighting, wall sconces, and under cabinet lighting were added to help with the customization of each part of the room. Timberlake cabinetry was installed with soft close features and pull out shelving to add to the functionality of the space. A 25 foot solid countertop was chosen, as well as a specialty paint and cushion back sheet vinyl. This gave the room an easy to clean design that every artist wants in a playroom. With their third completed renovation, these homeowners are now truly living in their dream home and look forward to their new life in their ultimate retirement playroom.
A young couple decided to leave their small downtown cottage and purchase a nearby sprawling suburban ranch with room to move their disabled mother in with them. Since she relies on a walker and occasionally a wheelchair, having easy access was key to creating a new accessible bath. The door to the hall was enclosed and the existing bathroom completely gutted. The footprint was rearranged to add a vanity cabinet with lots of storage. A large angle shower with a nearly zero threshold was created. Grab bars were installed near the toilet and in the shower, along with a fold-down teak seat, making it easy for her to sit and use the handheld shower wand. White ceramic subway tiles cover the shower walls, with Carrera marble hexagon tile mosaics on the flooring. The white shaker-style cabinets are kitchen height, so that grandma doesn't have to bend over so far. The maintenance-free white quartz countertops house an undermount porcelain sink. The new bath is easily maneuverable, while still being beautiful, bright, and modern. Although the homeowners loved the location of their lake house, it was time to update it into a sanctuary they could use year-round. The goal for this exterior remodel was to make the home aesthetically beautiful while blending in with its surroundings. The old design made it difficult to find the front door, which was actually located on the side of the house, so the entrance was relocated. New cedar shakes replaced the existing metal roof. The old wood deck located off the kitchen was removed and replaced with a new porch area equipped with a fireplace, cooking station, and plenty of room for entertaining. Stone walls were constructed with the outdoor fireplace, blue stone was installed on the floor, and wood beams were added for a sophisticated cottage look. Another porch was created off the master suite with a stone fireplace, blue stone flooring, wood banisters, and a swing bed. A landing deck was built off the great room to serve as overflow space for guests during parties, and a pass-through window was installed behind the bar for ease of entertaining both inside and out. A three-story observation tower was constructed for added living space while offering panoramic views. A new fire pit near the lake's edge offers a perfect place to unwind at the end of the day. The new exterior takes full advantage of the outstanding views and blends in seamlessly with its natural surroundings. These homeowners were ready for an update of their 80s style split level home. Achieving the craftsman style that they desired called for a complete exterior overhaul. The existing roof was replaced with new dimensional shingles to complement the new siding. A bay window in the kitchen was replaced with a French door leading out to a new 12 by 20 foot covered porch. All new energy efficient windows were installed along with vinyl board and batten siding and vinyl shakes in the gable. Rock columns and skirting were added all around the house to tie the entire aesthetic together. To continue the craftsman theme in the carport, new tapered columns with rock bases were installed. The covered porch added a rustic element with the use of rough sawn cedar handrails, while curved bronze balusters were used to soften the look. The remodeler successfully delivered the craftsman charm that the owners were seeking for their forever home. This addition to an early 1970s home was designed to enhance the stunning view of the lake, 
as well as create a space that would fulfill the homeowner's living and entertainment needs as they begin their retirement. The result was a mostly glass and door addition on large 8x8 stone-covered columns overlooking Lake Tuscaloosa. A large portion of the existing home's second floor wall was removed to allow the old and new spaces to flow together. Three 1,600-pound, 28-foot-long decorative beams were installed in the ceiling. Beneath the addition, a new deck was built so that the owners could enjoy the outdoors and take in the scenery. New flooring, painting, and trim work for the existing great room were also incorporated into the project. The spectacular lake views are on full display for the owners to enjoy year-round. The client wanted an attached living space for his mother added to their recently purchased home. A 14-foot by 32-foot one-bedroom, one-bathroom addition was created that is attached to the house by a short breezeway. The living space includes a small kitchen area with sink, dishwasher, and cooktop. Custom cabinets were designed with a desk area for sewing as well as kitchen storage. The living room area provides a space to entertain and watch TV. The vaulted ceilings give the feeling of open space, and two skylights add plenty of natural light in the bedroom. A sliding door leads to a small patio with a view to the backyard. The bathroom includes a large custom walk-in shower, tiled floor, and vanity. Hardwood flooring throughout makes for a low-maintenance solution. Great care was given to matching all the elements of the outside of the existing house, including the brick, siding, roof pitch, and overall size. Totally self-contained with its own HVAC and water heater, the addition allows for a great space for visits for mom and can also serve as a transition space for older children. This young family wanted to add more space to their existing home, so a large two-car garage with a mudroom attached to the home was constructed. In the mudroom, custom-built cabinets were installed for the homeowner's four children to store their book bags, coats, and shoes. A large bonus room was constructed above the garage with its own three-quarters bathroom, hot water heater, and HVAC unit. Custom-made cabinets and granite countertops were installed for the bonus room's wet bar. The brick on the exterior of the new addition was matched with a brick on the existing home and Bermuda sod was laid. The addition has given this young family a place to kick back and relax or to have a gathering and watch football games together. Located in a cul-de-sac of an established neighborhood, this 362-foot square foot addition created a blend of the traditional and the contemporary in this Cape Cod style home. Seven-foot casement windows by Marvin were installed, taking up 90% of the new exterior wall and providing ample light to flood into the sunroom. Hidden screens on the windows are perfect for letting the comfortable cool air in and keeping the bugs out. A heated 24 by 24 porcelain tile floor was laid inside and the addition walls and ceiling were sealed with spray foam insulation. The exterior raised porch has a metal and cedar arbor built over the grilling station that looks out onto the new backyard landscape. This landscape was anchored by the decorative wood fence with lattice design and provided a backdrop for the plants, flower beds, and new walkway to the existing arbor at the rear of the lot. A bubbling trio of vase fountains provides a water retreat for birds and echoes into the open windows of the sunroom for the owner to enjoy. The addition is a hit not only with the homeowners, but with their four cats as well, who love to climb their cat tower in the sunroom and watch the birds outside. This den addition was designed to enhance an existing oversized entertaining room that was an apparent afterthought for the previous owners. Encompassing 250 square feet, the addition included a new stone fireplace, wood flooring, and added storage for board games. Notched wood beams from a 100-year-old log cabin were installed and reclaimed wood skins replaced the sheetrock ceiling. New windows and French doors were installed to answer the homeowner's desire to have enhanced views of the lake. A bar was built with rough sewn cedar and completed with a copper sink. A pass-through window was installed behind the bar to allow the host to entertain indoors and out at the same time. 
Outside, the old rotten deck was replaced and the old canopy that attached to the home was removed. An eyebrow roof was created with oversized custom-made wood corbels to give the home character. The new den provides a cozy spot to curl up and enjoy the spectacular lake views. With an emphasis on long-term livability and durable low-maintenance materials, this home addition is remarkably fit for aging in place, in style, and comfort. The existing home was full of charm, loaded with old craftsman trim and amenities throughout, and the addition was designed to carry these features throughout. Queen Anne casement windows and Thermatrue doors were used to enhance the views of the Dog River that can be seen from the dining, kitchen, living, upstairs, bedrooms, and porch. An ash gray classic rib metal roof was used matching the existing roof in color and style and making a seamless transition from old to new. In the kitchen, new appliances were installed, as were shaker style cabinets with a stained finish and glacier white quartz countertops. A farm sink and a separate island with white galaxy granite were added. The new living room features a fireplace with built-ins on both sides, along with spacious room to house electronics for entertainment. The new hardwood stairs lead up to the second floor, where there are two giant bedrooms, each with a beautiful view of Dog River, one bath, and a large playroom. This Riverside Cottage is picture perfect for this close to retirement couple and is a welcoming retreat for entertaining their children and grandchildren. Nestled in the heart of typical suburbia, the homeowner wanted to create his own retreat to enjoy pool exercise and his love of bird watching. A South Florida native, his requirements were above code in every aspect of the construction as it was built to South Florida hurricane wind code standards. The project provided an additional 1,832 square feet of living space that included a master suite, a Florida room, and an interior heated concrete 12 by 40 foot salt-based lap pool. Located just a few feet away from the new master suite, the homeowner merely strides to his pool and swims every morning and evening for exercise, and then relaxes afterward in the new sauna. The master suite features his and hers bathrooms with heated tile floors and a walk-in bathtub. The Florida room includes a wet bar featuring custom-made oak cabinets, sink, ice machine, and wine fridge. The exterior design incorporating organic material and natural water features has attracted a varied species of birds throughout each season. This project brought the owner's dreams to life, giving him a relaxing place in which he can enjoy his favorite hobbies. This beautiful 1915 historic home had a kitchen that had been remodeled years ago with materials that did not fit the house. The kitchen was moved to the side of the room that had big, beautiful windows to take advantage of the natural light. Custom inset cabinets painted a soft white, Montclair Danby marble counters, porcelain farm sink, and furniture hood give a 1915 period look. Handmade subway tiles with an arabesque focal point behind the stove add to this kitchen's charm. Under cabinet lighting and an antique crystal chandelier relocated from the foyer brightens up the workspace. The existing hardwood floors have been painted, but when stripped, revealed beautiful wood that was simply clear coated. The original butler's pantry was stripped, sanded, and repainted, becoming the highlight of the room. Next to it, a vintage door was sanded, stained, and refreshed with frosted glass and barn door hardware to become the door for the walk-in pantry. New appliances with modern conveniences inside the cabinets, like the pull-out spice legs on each side of the stove, double trash, roll-out shelves, and deep drawers make this functional kitchen a pleasure to work in. This home, built in 1837, is not only one of the most distinctive historic homes in the state, 
but it's also home to numerous legends and ghost tales. It was even featured in the book 13 Alabama Ghosts and Jeffrey. After the original owners passed away, the home was used as a school, auto parts warehouse, and church before sitting vacant for several years. The new owner purchased it in hopes of having it restored for day-to-day -day use again as an event space. The project was organized into two phases, beginning with the outer facade. Repairs were made to the roof, stucco, and masonry. The woodwork and windows were replaced, and more than 100 gallons of paint were used. Phase two focused on the interior, where new plumbing, electrical, and central heating and cooling systems were installed. Some of the original hardwood was able to be reused and new pine flooring was used to match the existing. Restrooms and an indoor kitchen were added, along with office space. On-site parking was created with ADA handicap usage. The home has new life as an event space with an historic touch. This home on a private college campus had served as the primary residence for 12 college presidents and their families. Additions in the past half century were not in keeping with the architectural design of the house. A generous donation paved the way for remodeling and restoring the home in the integrity of its original Georgian revival style, while upgrading it with modern amenities. The 1800 square foot addition and upgrade included a new catering kitchen and a kitchen for family use. Adjacent to the kitchen, the new den has French doors that open directly onto a new patio for additional entertaining space. The project also included a reading area, family room, laundry room, two children's rooms, and the refurbishment of the master bath. Topographical challenges had to be overcome to allow for easy handicap access by all visitors while preserving the original grade of the surrounding historical area. A quaint sidewalk meanders around the side and back of the property onto the outdoor living area which is on grade with the rear den addition. More than just a residence, this newly restored home is an important link between the college and the community as it plays host to numerous events. The project also created a purposeful, usable, and inviting space while maintaining the home's historic exterior style. This lakefront home had great bones, but suffered from outdated finishes, minimal storage, and closed off rooms. The master suite was broken up into three closets, one vanity room, one three foot by three foot shower stall, and one tub and one toilet room. The unused tub was removed to make way for a spacious, curbless shower with built-in seat. The fixed glass panel and frameless shower door offer unencumbered views across the room. Large format tiles minimize the time and effort spent cleaning. The existing shower stall and vanity cabinet were removed to make way for a larger double sink vanity. The front wall of the closets in the bedroom was shifted out to allow for a new 5 by 12 foot closet. The entry to the closet was relocated to gain access from the bathroom rather than the bedroom, helping the early riser to get ready for a day of fishing without waking his wife. The updates to this master suite have allowed these retirees to fully enjoy all that life on the lake has to offer. This bathroom upgrade was much needed for a newly blended family. The master bathroom, as it was previously designed, had too much wasted space and not enough natural light to make the room feel as luxurious and relaxing as the rest of the existing master suite. The layout of the bathroom was reconfigured to give a little more space to the master bedroom. A curbless shower was installed with modern delta fixtures in a Venetian bronze finish and shower cubby spaces for bathing products. A beautiful chandelier and TV hang above the new six-foot soaking tub with a custom tile skirt. A custom-designed vanity was brought in, complete with his and her sinks with a Carrera cultured marble top and a makeup counter with storage and built-in mirror. Wood-look porcelain tile was laid on the floor. 
To help bring natural light into the room and make it feel more open, the window that had originally been above the tub was moved to the walk-in shower and a new six-foot casement window was installed. The new bath successfully combines the masculine and feminine qualities that the owners were looking for in their master suite. Converting a girl's bathroom to a boy's bathroom called for all new colors, finishes, and fixtures. A new custom vanity featuring overlay doors with recessed panels and a beaded detail was installed. Aurora marble was used for the countertop as well as the shower seat and entrance into the shower. The old vanity mirror was removed and replaced with a new mirror and custom frame. Cape Cod blue subway tile was used in the shower. Using frameless glass shower doors helped add depth to the small room. Newport brass polished nickel hardware was installed throughout. New light fixtures and paint helped tie the room together and complete the transformation. These empty nesters wanted to update their bathroom and make it more functional for their guests. With a long list of desired features and very little space to work in, the design called for gutting the bathroom and completely removing the tub. This allowed for a vanity with a large linen tower as well as a separate makeup counter in the small space. An existing closet located above a stairwell was creatively used to allow the shower to recess back into the cavity and create a bench with a separate handheld spray. A limestone and marble tile was used on the shower floor and porcelain tiles were used to create the look of marble on the walls. To maximize space, a custom set of corner hydro slide shower doors were installed. Granite countertops were used at each vanity, as well as the shower threshold and bench to tie the areas together. What was once a small, cramped, outdated bathroom is now a functional and beautiful space for these homeowners' guests. After remodeling nearly every room in their home, it was time for the homeowners to tackle their next project the master bath. Given the age of their home, the size of the master bath was simply too small for a modern lifestyle and offered little storage. Access to a hall closet was closed off and the master closet was relocated to gain space. Bright white shaker style cabinetry was installed with Cambria quartz countertops. In the shower, oversized subway tile was used to provide a larger and more luxurious feel. The white subway tile is accented with a gray and black dot marble basket weave mosaic. Faux wood porcelain tiles were laid on the bathroom floor in a chevron pattern. To keep the room as light and bright as possible, the bath was finished off with light gray paint on the walls and shimmering chrome plumbing and hardware. The result is a day to night transformation of a small, dark, uninviting space to a very pleasant, relaxing, and functional room. This family of empty nesters was looking to downsize and wanted to integrate their unique and modern design concepts into their new master bath. With the home located in an historic district with strict regulations about altering the home's exterior appearance, removing the existing window in the bathroom was not an option. A unique vanity featuring a solid wood beam was created that integrates the window into the overall design. A seamless glass wall was designed to house the water closet and shower. The shower includes a marble bench and floor tile with white subway tile on the walls. A large soaker tub was installed as well. The bathroom not only created a unique space for relaxation, but also provides an oasis for this family to enjoy for years to come.
Built in the mid-80s, this home's second-floor master suite had a very small bath that was carved out of attic space. Additional structural support was added above the garage to allow for appropriating more attic space for the bath expansion. Porcelain tile that looks like marble was used throughout the new bath for a low-maintenance spa environment. A curbless shower provides complete accessibility and features body spray heads along with a handheld shower head next to the seat. A whirlpool tub was installed and a picture window added above to provide natural light. New Maple Wellborn His and Hers vanities include a sit-down makeup station. The vanities are topped with quartz and feature drop-in Kohler sinks. A matching linen closet was built in for additional storage. These clients now have a large, bright and inviting master bath that will allow for complete accessibility in the future. These homeowners wanted to not only update their bathroom, but also incorporate some aging in-place design features so they could stay in their home for the duration. The doorways to the bathroom and closet were widened. A curbless shower with a wide doorless entry and a bench provides easy access for anyone to enjoy this space now and in the future. The new vanity was topped with white Carrera marble, which was also used on the bench seat and tub deck. The wall separating the tub and toilet areas was removed to make the space more open and allow in natural light from the window. The result is a beautifully updated bathroom that incorporates aging in-place design elements that will stand the test of time. With a bathroom that presented several construction issues that needed to be fixed, the owner wanted to take this opportunity to update the room to her style and incorporate some creative features to make this master bathroom stand out. The cave-like shower was replaced with open walls and glass that allowed the natural light from the window to pour in. Aging in-place features were incorporated into the shower design, including a bench, handheld fixture, and curbless entry. A Japanese soaking tub took the place of the typical drop-in tub and creates a unique design element to the room. Quartz was used on the bench and skirt as well as the new vanity countertops. Tile wainscoting was installed throughout and is accented by the black tile baseboard. The result is a master bathroom that is built to the owner's standards and reflects her personality and style. The homeowners wanted an entertainment area that was versatile for adults and children alike and decided to turn their garage into the ideal hangout spot. Windows were moved and walls were constructed in the place of the garage doors. A portion of a pre-existing hallway was utilized to accommodate a new staircase leading to an unfinished bonus room upstairs. To minimize clutter and incorporate kid-friendly activities, a hidden gaming center was created and can be accessed through arched top pocket doors with obscured glass. A small kitchen was added to eliminate the need to use the house's main kitchen when entertaining. Eight inch tongue and groove pine was installed on one wall and travertine tile floor was laid. Painted cabinets with clear glass doors and granite countertops were installed. A bar sink, ice maker, mini dishwasher, and a kegerator completed the island bar. Outside, the new entrance was enhanced with rough sewn western cedar beams. The homeowners now have an easily accessible entertainment area for all ages. This family of four was in love with the convenient location of their home, but they were not in love with the avocado appliances, outdated carpet, and dysfunctional layout. The room sizes were small, and they did not have a need or want for a formal living room. 
a plan was created to remove all the walls in the foyer, kitchen, dining, den, and living room to create one large room that can share space. The eight-foot ceilings were raised exponentially, increasing the feel of the space. Five giant overbearing trees in the small backyard were harvested and repurposed as scissor trusses to support the roof. The lumber was also used to create new stair treads, knee wall cap, and a window seat in the new laundry room. New hardwood floors were installed throughout and new cabinets, countertops, and appliances were installed in the kitchen. The large wall above the stairs provides the perfect theater setting for viewing favorite movies or sports events on the state-of-the-art projector. The new space is multifunctional and a great asset for entertaining large groups, moving furniture around for a dance floor, or just keeping the family together in one room for a variety of activities. A family of three with a baby on the way wanted to add some much needed living space and their large attic was the only space available. The makeover called for creative workarounds to move the plumbing and mechanical already in the space. An engineered floor system was added without disturbing the finished space below. Approximately 1,800 square feet of living space was created which included a kids play area, office and theater room. Two new bathrooms were added as well. A snack bar with mini fridge and microwave was installed, allowing them to enjoy refreshments without having to go downstairs to the kitchen. Details like a barrel ceiling in the hallway and a rustic sliding barn door add architectural interest. This new space has become the client's favorite part of the house and allows them to work in the office while keeping an eye on the kids. After leasing showroom space for many years, this closet company purchased an existing building to use as its showroom and design studio while also housing its construction offices, warehouse, and shop. The space, which included 6,000 square feet of showroom and offices and an additional 8,000 square feet of warehouse space, had great bones but needed lots of work. The exterior's red brick, black plastic shutters, white aluminum windows, and fluted aluminum columns had to go. The red brick was painted as soft ivory, while new vinyl impact rated windows in bronze with low E glass and a new bronze metal roof were installed. The entry door was relocated, stained cedar columns added, the existing concrete porch floors were stained, and modern wall-mounted lights installed for a welcoming entry. Inside. New walls were strategically placed in the showroom to show off various closet designs to customers. The existing acoustical drop ceiling was painted black, and the old fluorescent light fixtures were changed out for new energy-efficient models. Soft colors and comfortable entry furnishings create a relaxing place to visit. The break room got a facelift by painting the existing base cabinet and changing out the hardware, along with installing new wall cabinets for added storage. The once boring building has been turned into an eye-catching new space that helps customers envision the transformations that can take place in their own homes. Built in 1837, this is not only one of the most distinctive historic houses in the state, but it's also home to numerous legends and ghost tales. Following the deaths of the original owners, it was used as a school from 1906 to 1925, then as an auto parts warehouse and a church. The vacant house was purchased in 2014, and work began on turning it into a commercial space suitable for hosting events. Repairs were made to the roof, stucco, and masonry. The woodwork and windows were replaced, and more than 100 gallons of paint were used. Bringing this nearly 200-year-old structure up to code while maintaining the home's historic integrity proved to be quite a feat, 
as plumbing, electrical, fire sprinklers, and central heating and cooling all had to be added. To accommodate catered events, an indoor kitchen was created, as were four restrooms. New pine flooring was installed to match the existing hardwoods throughout. This once abandoned home has been transformed into a beautiful venue for hosting parties, weddings, and other events, offering a touch of history while providing all of the comforts and needs of today's guests. These homeowners wanted to brighten and modernize their outdated elongated brick home while adding living space. They also wanted a pathway to connect their home to their mother's house next door. The old garage was moved to the other side of the house as an addition and the existing garage space was transformed into a living space to include a den, storage, and a bathroom. The narrow entry corridor was expanded to create a grand entry den where the owner's piano could be displayed. The new two-car garage includes a nook for a workbench or a closet space. New exterior brick on the addition was found that matched the existing brick. The existing doors and windows were able to be refitted and reused. The sloping backyard was flattened and a pathway was created to connect with the house next door where the owner's mother lives. The home is now better suited to fit these homeowners needs and provides much more living space. Renovating a modest-sized home on a tight budget was the goal for this project. The biggest challenge was how to make the front elevation of a low-roofed rancher more desirable without breaking the bank. By using the existing chimney that was prominent on the front of the home and adding two small gables and a square bump out on the front, the home grew slightly taller in perspective and maintained an appropriate scale. This helped modernize the home without spending too much money on framing and structural changes. Inside, the dated finishes were removed, rotted areas repaired, and new windows installed. To give the clients the open concept they wanted, a wall in the middle of the house was removed, creating an open kitchen, dining, and den area. A hallway was created to access the new master suite at the rear of the house. Space was taken from a bedroom to create a new laundry room and bath. The end result was an adorable house on a great corner lot in a family-friendly neighborhood, and the clients couldn't be happier. Built in 1955, this house had been remodeled throughout the years but was very dated and small. The home's entrance was updated with custom stone columns and a beautiful oak door. Inside the kitchen was completely gutted and walls were removed to open up the space. New custom-made cabinets, granite countertops, and stainless steel appliances were installed and double ovens and a breakfast bar open to the living room were added. The living room's potbelly gas stove was removed and a new stone gas fireplace was installed. The hardwood floors were refinished and new designer lighting installed throughout. The bathrooms were updated with custom cabinets, granite countertops, comfort high toilets, and updated hardware. Two new bedrooms and a new bath were created upstairs. Outside, the old deck was replaced and the grounds were cleared out with new landscaping added. This beautifully updated home is now the perfect fit for a young couple looking to grow their family. The owners love their 3,500 square foot one-of-a-kind home with its obscure wall and ceiling angles. While staying within the original footprint of the home, the interior was stripped to the studs to create an inviting living area perfect for entertaining and a true retreat with each bedroom. The living room, dining room, and kitchen were transformed from their original compartmentalized design to an open concept to allow for easy traffic flow between spaces. Removing the carpet revealed the home's original hardwood floors, which were refinished and stained. The quartzite island top in the kitchen, the dining room lighting fixture, 
and the fabric on the homeowner's couch were the main elements used to base the finished selections on throughout the house. The obscure angles that the homeowners found so intriguing were kept as part of the design while reconfiguring the right wing of the house to create a true master suite. These angles can be seen in the feature walls in the showers and the master bath, as well as in the guest bath. The home's exterior was painted to add curb appeal. With the house re-plumbed and rewired to bring it up to code, new low e-vinyl windows installed, and spray foam insulation added, this 1960s home is fully updated and ready for many more years of enjoyment. The owner of this home knew he wanted to make a major change when he purchased it several years ago to make the space better reflect his style and personality. This project began in the foyer, where the choppy space was transformed into an inviting and breathtaking entrance. The low archways and hallways were removed to take advantage of the 20-foot windows in the den, and a barrel ceiling was framed to make the space more open and dramatic. The dark stained ceiling in the den was stripped and painted, and the built-ins flanking the fireplace were replaced with large antique mirrors with iron frames. The dark stone fireplace surround and hearth were replaced with limestone. The kitchen was gutted, and a new floor plan was implemented to take advantage of the natural light and make the space more functional for entertaining. A marble backsplash highlights the custom hood as the statement piece of the kitchen, and quartzite countertops make the space warm and inviting. The tray ceilings in the eat-in area and dining room are reconfigured and trimmed with nickel gap tongue and groove and painted to lighten each room. Each of the four guest bathrooms were gutted and custom vanities installed in each. The bathrooms each received their own unique marble tile application to brighten the spaces and match the theme throughout the house. This once dark, bland home has been transformed into a warm, inviting space that takes advantage of the light and stunning views at every turn. As the owner of the house stated, even I can't believe the transformation, and I live here. This millennial couple absolutely loved the view from their porch overlooking the relaxing Dog River, but needed an energy-efficient, up-to-date home with all the modern conveniences to support their busy schedules. The existing home had not been properly maintained and had never been updated. The homeowners also wanted the home to withstand the storms and hurricanes that are common to the area. All windows and exterior doors were replaced with impact-rated windows and doors. The entire roof system was repaired and a new classic rib metal roof installed. More than 1,800 square feet were added to the home, including a two-story addition and a walk-in basement. New floors were installed using Mohawk Loftland Beechwood tile that looks like hardwood. The downstairs addition included an up-to-date kitchen, boasting Electrolux appliances with stainless finish that complements the nebulous white cabinets and fantasy brown granite countertops. The exposed beam ceiling was refinished in the living room and dining area and windows were added to show the impressive view. The original upper area was transformed into a master suite with an exposed beam ceiling and a sizable walk-in closet with plenty of shelving. The second bedroom was converted into a master bath with a freestanding tub, walk-in shower, and spacious vanity area. This home's majestic location and new living space will provide easy summer living year-round. This family of four needed a home that gave them all a space to call their own, with dedicated areas for eating, playing, and overall family time. Drawing on the family's love of craftsman-style design, the new home combines function and charm in a design they can all enjoy as their family matures. The new kitchen features classic white subway tile backsplash, shaker-style cabinets, and a large island for food prep and seating. The kitchen is open to the living room so that those in the kitchen don't miss a minute of the action. The new screened-in porch serves as an additional living space with a fireplace for enjoyment even on chilly nights. The home boasts crisp, classic design elements with a touch of rustic farmhouse with elements such as a painted shiplap, dark stained wood, and stone adding a feeling of warmth. The home is now a cozy bungalow that exceeded the client's vision. The location of this lake home was perfect, but the home was dated and had some structural issues. 
Rather than tear it down and begin anew, the owners opted to restore, preserve, and repurpose the house as much as possible. The front door was relocated and a new foyer designed with a reclaimed wood ceiling and rugged beams, which carry throughout the home. The great room now features new windows and doors to better take in the lake views, a rough cedar bar for entertaining, and plenty of space for games. Taking down the walls opened up the cramped kitchen and breakfast nook and created an open space with room for a large walk-in pantry, soapstone island, and dining table. Adjacent to the kitchen, the tiny family den was expanded. French doors were installed, and planked wood painted a cozy cream color was added to the walls and ceiling. The former garage and storage area was converted into a master suite, which includes a vaulted ceiling, bay windows, and its own private porch. The new master bath features a walk-in tiled shower, cast iron soaker tub, and double marble vanities. A second story was added to the house, along with an observation tower that offers a panoramic view of the lake. Whether entertaining house guests or just enjoying some family time, the house now more than meets the family's needs. These clients wanted their home to have a custom touch with all the modern amenities while maintaining a classic feel. The existing structure was gutted to the studs and plumbing, electrical, and HVAC systems replaced. The kitchen was relocated to the area previously occupied by the den and sunroom. Custom shaker style cabinetry and white quartz countertops were installed and the existing hardwood floors refinished. A 2,500 foot master suite that included a master bath and his and her walk-in closets was added to the existing structure. Heated tile floors were installed along with custom cabinetry and trim in the master bath. New wood paneling was installed in the study and stained to match the existing paneling. Coffered ceiling trim was also installed for added architectural interest. Although small, the new powder room makes a big impact with walnut and onyx tile floors and an undermount light that shines through the countertop. Outside, a carport and second driveway with bluestone inlay were added. This project combined old and new construction seamlessly to create a truly luxurious home. This young couple desired more everyday living space in their modest home to accommodate their growing family and love of entertaining. The existing deck was removed to make way for a new 325 square foot screened in four season outdoor living and dining space. The existing back door and windows were replaced with a 12 foot wide door system with double doors and side lights to maximize the natural light in their current living room. The blue beadboard ceiling and exposed cedar rafters add a welcome amount of warmth and sophistication to the space. The new decking, stained to complement the exposed cedar beams above, provide a naturally rot-resistant and long-lasting floor system for the homeowners. The design accommodated a large sectional couch, 70-inch TV, six-person dining table with built-in banquet seating, and a bar area with built-in ice bin and outdoor refrigerator. The round window creates a pause-worthy view to the outside while walking through the interior hallway towards the master suite. The homeowner's dog, Louise, wasted no time utilizing the two dog doors positioned for her to move freely from inside the home to the porch to the backyard. The project was completed just in time to celebrate the homeowner's son's first birthday and to host a football season kickoff party. This project took a large flat backyard and turned it into the ultimate space for play and relaxation. The centerpiece is a new pool with a retractable cover to protect it from the surrounding trees and make pool management more efficient. With the steps running the entire width of the 20 by 40 foot pool and a slide for the kids, the pool is ideal for entertaining. The hot tub is faced with stone and features a waterfall into a reservoir for circulation. The pool deck is stamped concrete and complements the color scheme of the surrounding area. The detached garage was converted into a pool house with a bathroom, changing room, serving area, and plenty of storage for pool items. An outdoor kitchen was added with a Viking grill and cooktop and granite countertops. For the homeowner's children, a two-story treehouse was custom built complete with a slide and fireman's pole. The new backyard is loaded with features to provide fun for all ages.
These homeowners wanted to turn their existing patio into a covered entertaining area where they could watch football games, grill out, and entertain friends and family. The new roof system was tied into the original structure and a flat ceiling was framed out and covered with beaded panels. Cedar shakes were added on the sides to blend the new covered patio with the porch. Recessed can lights were installed to lighten up the area and new electrical and data were run for the clients to enjoy college football games on the new flat screen TV. A new banister was incorporated to create a space that actually felt like a living room that extended from the house. Concrete pavers were laid on the floor and steps to dress up the raw concrete. Once the project was completed, the owners set up their big green egg and were ready to enjoy their perfect backyard barbecue pad. These homeowners wanted to update the look of their den and to address the overwhelming look of having six doors in the main hallway that were used for storage closets. New custom beaded inset cabinets were installed and beautifully lit with LED tape lights for the open shelves. A new limestone fireplace surround and hearth was added to update the look of the room. In the hallway, the existing doors were removed and the openings reframed. Barn doors replaced the bifold doors leading from the foyer to the den. Shiplap was run in the foyer and down the hallway to accent the wall that was once covered in doors and trim. The result is a beautiful new den and a wall with a seamless transition between the walls and doors without losing any of the much needed storage. The owners of this charming home were struggling to overcome some deficiencies common in the relatively small homes built in the 1940s. Chief among these were a lack of storage for food, extra appliances, and everyday use items, and a lack of comfortable space for the smallest family member, Luna the Chihuahua. The resolution was a mud room designed to address all the needs using high performance materials in a very efficient and attractive design. A combination of custom and semi-custom cabinetry was installed, including tall pantry cabinets to provide overflow storage for the kitchen. A beaded plywood and chair rail wainscot helped dress up the area, while storage cubbies and hooks help keep items organized. Pull-out storage keeps dog food and other pet items close at hand, but out of the way when not in use. LVT flooring was used for a pet and weather-resistant finish. A laminate covered bench seat covers a custom cabinet for shoes and a bed for Luna. By using low cost, high performance materials, the remodeler was able to give the homeowner an attractive and efficient space suitable for every member of the house. At the heart of this remodel project is the use of repurposed wood and beams in place of the typical sheetrock walls and ceilings and tile floors. Beams from structures ranging from 100-year-old log cabins to a Civil War veteran's former estate were reused throughout virtually every room of the home, beginning in the entryway. Wood skins, most of which came from a rail yard in California, adorn many of the home's ceilings and provide a striking focal point. Reclaimed wood corbels from an antebellum home were repurposed as the anchor for a wall desk. Reclaimed wood was also used on the bar in the entertainment room. Virtually every room saw the incorporation of wood elements from the den to the bunk room to the master suite. The home is filled with rustic touches that help bring the outdoors in and give the homeowners the look they desired. <laughs> 